Yeah, for the, are you recording now? Yeah, you can start. Right, I probably should have asked. <laughs> well, you're good though. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll edit it edit out. It. Yeah. Hey, even if you didn't, it'd be funny. Um, so right now what I got to do is that I want the same network as a lot of the devices. So what I need to do is that I need to find out specifically where the target is. And I want to figure out where this guy is because it's the easiest one. So what's this one right here? That's the Belkin F7. So the reason why I picked that one is because I know the export is pretty easy. It's like in the web app. So it's like I can show you how easy it is to just find these things. So I'm gonna try to find out where. So here's just like a list of all the like this one in the Nmap set again, and here's a list of all the ones that are up. So 10.2, 10.3, 10.4, 10.5, 10.6. 10.6. This one's 10.8, 10.9, and 10.10. So instead of trying to go through all of them and figure them out through the scanner, I'm just gonna open them up in the web browser. So do 192, 168. I'm going to try to do 192.168.10.2. Let's see what that is. That one is the TEW, so that's this one. That's not the one I want. Let's try 10.3. That's the Belkin. Sweet. So this one's pretty easy and also funny. So this is a Belkin router. It's like the normal login page for it. And you could probably, like, if you were. I'm not saying that you should, but if you were to look for them on Shodan, you'll probably find a bunch of these online. So after you figure that out, I'm just going to hit the login page. After you hit the login page, you'll be like, it requires a password. But when this was designed, the password was client side validation. So if we go to and if we open up the tools tab, if we try to open up the tools tab, we go to web developer, and then we go to the web console. Here's the web console. and we'll oh, see awesome. that we have the, the debugger. So it has all the JavaScript files. In the JavaScript files, we'll see here that login.stm is the login, the JavaScript for the login page. Hit that, and here is where it starts getting interesting. The password is here. That's the hash for the password. So that when you're logging in, you just have to submit that password, and then you're good. That's it. That's, that's it. That's the full export for this device, that's, that's, which is very anticlimactic, I guess. But it is kind of funny that the login page has a password that you need to log into the device. Right. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, this is Zach with IT Career Questions. We're at the IoT Village at CypherCon here with ISE. And, uh, Rick from Gotti. Thank you. for <laughs> so okay. earlier, but hey, it'll make yeah. your uh, video. Thank you for walking us through that. I really appreciate it. That was awesome. All right, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.